Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial is all about the making of this trending triangular bubble top. So without wasting much time, let's dive into the tutorials. Alright, so to make this particular triangular bubble top, you need at least one yard of fabric. Okay, mine measures, the length measures 60 inches. So what I'm going to do is that I have already folded it before now, as you can see. I have folded it before now, it's on fold. Next thing I'm going to do now is to refold it. So you can either take to this side or you take to this side. It doesn't matter the side you take it to. So take it over to one particular side. So go ahead, arrange your fabric very well. Then once you are done doing that, Impute your neck with measurement. You can use between 7 inches to 9 inches depending on your client. Now, if you use something less than, I used 6 inches initially, but it didn't come out very well. So, for your neck depth, you can go ahead and use 3 inches for the neck depth. I used something lesser and it didn't turn out well, like I said before. So, just go ahead, mark 3 inches and connect it using a very nice curve so that it will come out very well. Remember to, you know, join through the, the closed end, okay? Then, once you are done with that, from here, from the neck which you locate the, the length of your, your blouse. So, for me, I will prefer 26 inches for the length of my blouse. So this is 26 inches or you can make it 27 inches. Then I'm going to connect it over to this part. If you want yours longer, you can go ahead and connect it to be longer. So for the length of the top, we are using 27 inches. Then I'm going to measure my hip measurements and notch towards that side. My hip measurement is... Um, 40 inches when divided by 4 because the fabric is on on fold and it's actually into 4 I have 10 inches, but I will add like 2 inches allowance for ease So I'm going to mark it here and notch then for my sleeve From here. I'm coming up here by 9 inches for my sleeve so I'm going to notch these two parts. So what it means is that I'm going to um, stitch from here to here. This will serve as my shoulder. Then this is, will serve as my armhole. Then this place will be my body and this place the hem of my dress. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you don't understand, let me know in the comment section. So to start cutting it, I'm going to cut to the neckline. Then this other part, I'm going to tear it into two. Then the hem. Then don't forget to notch this area. Then also notch this area. So without wasting much time, let's go to the sewing machine. But let me, before then, let me open it up so you can see how it is. So this is how the top looks like. I don't know if you can see that. So this is it. So for the sewing process, you need to, you know, pipe the neckline or you fold into two and stitch neatly on the two sides, both the front and the back bodies. Then on this shoulder line, you are going to stitch. I'm using half an inch to stitch. Then on the second shoulder line, I'm going to also stitch, leaving 8 inches here. So we are going to leave this place open. So after sewing this area, next thing you need to do is to come over to the hem. This is the body side. You are going to also stitch with half an inch. Then you are going to repeat the same process here on this side. Stitch with half an inch. Then on this side too. You're also going to stitch with half an inch. Okay, so once that I'm done with that, I'll let you know. So next is to hem the top. 
so I'm going to fold in this part by two just fold in two then do the same to this side then this hand hand area you also do the same thing just fold into two on this side then take it over to this side then once you're done you can go ahead as you can see i've already notched this part this is to give it um room to relax you can go ahead and top stitch on it so that's all for these tutorials so after stitching it this is how beautiful it came out and i super love it so if you find these tutorials helpful give it a thumbs up comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel then thank you very much for watching i really appreciate you